Hi folks, we're going to uh, show you how to do a manual order in WooCommerce in a WordPress installation. Once you're logged in, in the site admin menu here, you click on over here on orders. And um, once that opens up, you'll see at the top of the page, we've got a couple of orders already here that have been created before. Um, in this case, we're going to, this is if you're getting an order from someone over the telephone, for example, something like that. Um, you go to the top here and click Add Order. And um, there's a few boxes here to look at. One is the, um, uh, the payment situation. And because you're doing it over the phone, you might have taken the credit card number and you're going to process that manually. So for the moment, it's pending payment. The customer starts out as a guest for the moment. If, you, if it's a repeating customer, someone's coming back, you start to type their name in here. You might find them in the... Um, <coughs> The database here so we'll use Lisa McCann here she's an existing customer so we'll choose her and uh, you'll see that um, the address is already in here her details as a buyer are already here um, no payment method selected at the moment but that's okay what we do now is we scroll down and we go to this next panel down here and um, there's a few things that we can do here but uh, what we want to do is <coughs> um, add a uh, add an item, a line item, and um, we do that by clicking Add Product here. And we're going to search for the product, and let's say it's um, the yeast extract or something like that. Brewer's yeast. There we go. So we're going to use Brewer's yeast as a product. We can choose the general product here, but from the drop down, we can actually choose what the client has ordered. So let's say the client has ordered three kilos. That's the item that we can choose here. Um, <clears throat> we continue. We can continue to add items here. So um, we'll search for a couple of other things. Um, we can add, say, for example, uh, clivers, and we'll add a one kilo pack of that. So we've got a couple of products added here already. We've chosen those. We click on add. <coughs> Excuse me. And the, uh, the products uh, have been added. And that's basically it. Um, we can add the shipping cost here, uh, or a fee of some sort. In this case, we might add the shipping cost. Shipping cost is going to be uh, calculated on um, where the shipping is going to go. And um, actually, we might do that manually here. Um, just going to have a look and see if that works. So we've added shipping a couple of times, so that doesn't work. We'll come back to that later on. Uh, that's no problem. We'll cancel those. Cancel those. But that's how you add a product. We'll come back. Um, I'll do a a second video just after this to um, deal with the addition of shipping, but that's basically it. That's how you create a new product, a new order, and you just simply save the order over here at the top, and that'll get added <coughs> to the orders page. Once it's saved, we go back to the orders just over here, you'll see that um, that order for Lisa has been added in, and um, it's been issued with a new order number up here. Um, Regarding order numbers, these can be changed manually. There is a plugin which we've installed here which allows us to change these, these order numbers manually and add a, an extra code to them or something like that if we want to. Um, but um, the otherwise the system sets so that the order numbers are consecutive. So down here we've got 803 at the bottom and up here we're up to 806 and they'll continue consecutively to rise as people place orders. And there we go. Uh, that's, uh, that's done.